Hey, Bill Vasey here. Thanks for watching this training video on dynamically modifying cable tray in Plant 3D. Here we are in the Plant 3D environment and we're going to go ahead and just route some cable tray using the tool palette off to the right in the screen. I'm going to start out by just placing a couple straight lengths of cable tray uh, easily snapped together one after another. Just place and adjust the orientation. I'm going to drop a 90 degree bend in here as well and then we'll add another piece of straight. All we're trying to do here is demonstrate that all this cable tray is automatically connected and users can right click on it and use the add to selection to select all this connected cable tray. All right, going to start over here with uh, the properties palette open. I'm going to go ahead and route some more cable tray by using the same process, starting out with some straight pieces. Here we're going to add a couple straights. So I'll change it up a little bit and drop in a cross and then just get one leg of this cross populated with another straight run. Just wanted to get a section put together here. Now we're going to use the just the select objects and we're going to go to properties and show how we can change size. So here are all the cable tray sizes and with a click of a button, everything dynamically updates. We can do the same thing with changing the spec. Here we have a ladder type cable tray. We could go to a, let's say no vent, change a spec and just like that, the cable tray updates. Well, that's the extent of this short video on how to modify cable tray in Plan 3D. We hope you saw enough to entice yourself to find out more about Electroworks and how to route conduit and cable tray.